布鲁邦宣布晋级的比赛。情况运动员是来自俄罗斯的马克西姆·克里姆托夫，红方运动员是来自乌兹别克斯坦的米基塔·拉法诺维奇。So here we have the minus 80 kilogram division, first semi-finals of this division, and it's Maxim from Russia and Nikia from Uzbekistan. Both very strong athletes. Um, I think this is going to be a really good competition. Both have incredibly good um, high section um, off the front legs, and I think we're going to see a, quite a bit of high section here today, battling off with their front legs together. Look, seems to be that the pad isn't working the best. I think maybe the center might not be in. Maybe. I think as well, it's um, fair that you do test just to, to make it fair and make um, it accurate for the players. I think it's not fair if um, the system isn't working for each player just to make it a fair playing field from yeah, the start. Here we go. Good shot straight away two. attempt. Told you the the the, the headshots galore these two. <laughs> Seems like the system's um a little bit tired maybe it's been a long day, so Indeed. Long day of action. Yeah. It's been getting hit. <laughs> Here we go. Good power there from the Russian. Just unfortunate to score. Trying to gauge each other. As this is a place. In the gold medal contest later today. Both athletes battling off with the front leg. Who can break the distance? Who can make the point on the board? Good attempt punch there to the blind side. Who's going to break this deadlock? There it is, two points to Nikita. Takes the point. I think the Maxim looking for a video replay. Yeah, I think he is going to ask for the, the, the body armor to be tested again. Um, I don't think Maxine's even registered on the pad just yet, so... Things like this can make you very frustrated as a, an athlete, as a fighter, and like knowing that if the system's not that good, it, it can put you off your game plan and make you make more mistakes than normal. I think so. Sometimes as well, you just got to get that clarity of the pat system is on, so you can go for it. Good, good, good. chance, good. hit. Good push kick there by Uzbekistan, making it 3 0. I think Maxine needs to try a little bit more high section as the body pad on it might not be scoring that easy. Try and take it a little bit different. 20 seconds left. Good attempt there from Nikita again. Maxim needs to not get unsettled now. It's 10 yes. seconds and still, still take it off, still take a headshot. Nikita taking that gamjun. One, one point in it now. 
can he get a body shot? Keita takes the opening round. 3-1. How do you think that round went then? Um, I think um, both athletes were struggling a little bit to score. Um, I think it's frustrated Maxine quite a bit because he did actually get inside uh, with the back leg and the clinch a little bit. But sometimes that sport, you've got to find another way to win. He could have punched a little bit more or maybe took a little bit high. Um, but like you've just seen there, great, great stab from inside from um, the Uzbekistan boy. And he controlled it very, very well. So we'll see what happens next. Both athletes have qualified for the Olympics in the top six um, ranking, so um, they are the best of the best, and this comes to the, the, the wire every time, so that, this is why it is a close match. There from Maxim. Yeah, maybe changing it up a little bit, trying to go high. Trying to mix it up a little bit, another attempt at the back over a punch. Good onslaught there, rewarded for that. Yeah, finally broke through. I think now he might feel a bit better that he's actually got a point on the board. Last clash game from Nikita. Before what he's been doing well early in other rounds, he's clashing then flicking off and going high and following. Yeah, he's got a very good high section, good flexibility off his front leg, so he, he can be able to get into them clash positions and then being able to work off of a flick. A little bit frustrating for the athletes for the system. Um, keep stopping and starting. Sometimes you just want to keep in the flow of the, your your round and your game plan. How do you like the new matting, this flooring that we're using now? How's uh, it been? Yeah, it's been okay. Like I think as athletes, when we we just get like when we're there to a competition, we just go with what we've got. Like everyone's in the same boat. Um, but to be fair, um, it's a little bit softer to land on when people do fall or try and spin in the air and then crash crash down on it. But yeah, it's okay. It's um, good. And I think the sa the stadium that we have here is is, is very impressive and. Um, it has shows a great entertainment for the sport and I think like it is showing it a bit more for TV and entertainment and the setup is very well. It's definitely light camera and action, isn't it? Definitely. High production value here. Minute left. Good, good, good. Looks like uh, Maxine's just taking a little bit of a back step, waiting for him to come, waiting to make a, a mistake to try and take advantage of it. Can't Uzbekistan get inside? Thirty seconds, two 0 to Russia. Oh, great attempt there by Uzbekistan. Just a bit unfortunate. Fifteen seconds left. Can Maxine hold off? Can he take this round going forward? It would be bottom one if so. Oh. Ten. Two one. Nothing in it. Can he take it back? There's a punch. Unfortunate there not to score. Can he bring it back last second? 
with a punch, Gamjung, anything. 4-1. Great back leg there to just take it off the lead. Unfortunate there, taking it to a tie, one apiece. So Maxim just came back from the Grand Prix final with a gold and Nikita winning a bronze medal there in this in that same event. Yeah, um, like I said before, like they are the best of the best and they've gone out there to the competition and came away with some medals, some some a gold and a bronze and I think like it does show like these are the top athletes in this division and like it's showing now there's barely anything between them and the difference from a gold and a bronze is is so close but um I think like we've seen a good competition here in, in the last round. Anyone can take it. It could be anyone's game, so we'll see. I think it was nice as well for Maxine to win in Moscow. Um, his home crowd, home people. So I think he um, was very pleased with that win in the, the Grand Prix final. But can he win now in the Grand Slam? <laughs> Round three. <laughs> this timing so uno yo chance i think so after crunch good ara sho uno uno after crunch uno yo ola one minute 30 left in round three, one apiece. Both athletes winning one round in the early in that earlier part of the round. And the final round, who wants it? Nice head attempt there from Nikita. Yeah, great head attempt um, shot there by Nikita. All to play for coming to the last 60 seconds of this third round. Nice punch from there. Good from attempt. Blue. Good attempt again to the bar. It's been a little bit unfortunate, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh. Nice time. And I like the way he tried he provoked that. So yeah, set him up. Stimulus, set him up. And there it went. Went high boom. The punch. It's, a shame. It's, a, it's like chess. You want to be one step ahead of each other so you can try and take that opportunity for that um, score and action. A little sign of respect there for um, hitting low, but straight back into the fight. Still nil nil, 30 seconds to go. Flash punch. 20 seconds, they both need this. Yeah, a lot riding on this one. Oh! Both shots very good. Back kick from Maxine. Turning from Nikita. 10 seconds. Can someone get a Gamjung or a punch? Maybe a headshot. Or will it go to the fourth round, Golden Round? There's oh, a headshot. Great headshot by to Maxine. To take it, to take it. There's a spin in action. He's coming. And the game. Very, very good by Maxine then to fight to the end, to fight for that shot and he took a risk with that shot and it paid off for him. He did. With that headshot game where he's got is always there, always a good one and it's put him through to the final once again. Can he come out as um, champion for the next one? He's won it in the past two years previously as well, so um, could he go out there and uh, win it for the third time?
将要进行的是男子负八十公斤级的比赛，情况运动员是来自韩国的南风环，红方运动员是来自阿塞拜疆的米拉德魏季。